that I feel. I don't know what I did with my eyeballs. Like I thought it was cute for like a hot minute. I feel like I kind of look like a hot mess, but that's not new for me. Also guys, I made, you guys want to see what bad decision I made today. Damn it, I'm trash. Oh. You don't understand. You, 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 you. Yo, what is up, everybody? I am Mommy Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel, Mother Freaker. Mother Freaker, Lord, give me strength today. I'm literally gonna lose all my shit today, okay? So, I was scavenging on Twitter the other day, social media, whatever the freak, as I usually do. I stumbled upon this tweet. Excuse you, sir! What the fuck is this? Disney, what are you doing to me? Disney released this tweet on January 31st of this year, stating that they will be working on a new anime-styled Otome smartphone game called Disney Twisted Wonderland, alongside with Square Enix and Aniplex. Disney anticipated the internet, stating that they will be going into more detail about this production at the announcement stage during Anime Japan 2019, March 23rd, where they released a teaser trailer featuring the amazing artwork and character design for the very famous mangaka Yana Toboso. And if you don't know who this queen is, she is the creator and mangaka of Black Butler Kurashizuji and several BL mangas under the name Yana Rock titles such as Glamorous Lip, Hana Shonen, and other publications such as Rust Blaster. And even though this game is still in its very early stages of development, Let's talk about what this game actually is, shall we? Disney Twisted Wonderland is a villain school adventure game that spins with rhythm and battle, interwoven with Disney characters inspired by charms of Disney villains that appear in Disney works. Players assume the role as the hero, who has been guided by a magical mirror and summoned to another world known as Twisted Wonderland. Players will find themselves enrolled in a prestigious magic training school known as Night Raven College. While being a student there, players will be aided by the mysterious mask headmaster to find a way to return home. So in this game, you may be interacting with devilishly beautiful Disney-inspired villains and the school student body, which is divided into seven different dormitories. Each are inspired and based off of a Disney franchise. The first dormitory that has been revealed is Hearts Love You. I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. Which, if you cannot tell, is a motif for Alice in Wonderland. And after the Anime Japan announcement, five characters that reside in that house has been released. And let's go over those fab boys, shall we? First being Riddle Roseheart, who is the leader of the dormitory, who follows the queen's commands to its utmost precision. And he will be voiced by Natsuki Hanai, who is the voice of Yuta Ashu from B Project, Rail from Black Clover, Lavi from De Grey Man, Taichi from Digimon Adventures Tri-Series, Haruyuchi from Diamond No Ace, Hiyori Tomai from Assemble Stars, Makuro no Danshi or Pillow Boys, Mikuni from Merman in my bathtub. The second character that has been released in that household is Ace Trapolo, and he will be voiced by Saichiro Yamashita, who has given his voice for the role of Chris from Edo Manga Sensei, Jiro Yoshida from Kyojime My Hero, Edward Midford from Black Butler the Movie, Yagen and Kunitoshi from Token Rambu, and Chiaki Uchimura from Suzare Children. Third boy that is released from that household is Duesis Spade. I have no idea if I pronounced that right, but please don't come for me if I didn't. I did not mean to. Please don't come for me if I didn't say that right. And he is the rival of Ace, and he will be voiced by Chucky Kobayashi, who is the voice of Keiji Takeda from Boogie Bop, Tony Freyd in Kenjan no Mango. Fourth member of the household is Trey Clover, and he will be voiced by Ryota Suzuki. And this man has given his voice for the role of Aida from Fully Coolie Alternative, Mizuro Tamaki from Tokyo Ghoul Race Season 2, and last boy who was released in this house is Cater Diamond, and he will be voiced by Tatsuyuki Kobayashi. And he voiced Kaibi Hai from Darling in the Franks, Asahi from Idol Time Prepara. Tatsuyuki has a very extensive resume of being a part of several anime openings, such as Fairy Tale Opening 20 Never End Tale and Kage Guri Ending 1. And last and not very least of the characters that were released is the character that is like the main face of the game. You see this character rise from the dead from that coffin. He is the main character in the promo art, the teaser trailer, and he is delicious. He is mighty fine. Who is that man? I will find him. And this character's name is Malois Draconia. And by those freaking horns, you know who he's trying to represent. As soon as I saw him, I was like, 
I'm playing this fucking game. It was this character that I was like, yo, I need to get my hands on this game. One way or another, it's gonna be mine. And this beautiful hunk of man will be voiced by Kazuki Katao, who has lent his voice for the characters of Kento Aizone from B Project, Kikyo from Reborn, and Masamune Date from Ikeman Sengoku. And he is also involved in the song performance of B Project's opening, and Katakyo Hitman Reborn opening six. So and y'all know I freaking love Katakyo Hitman Reborn, okay? This anime is so underrated and so many of you don't know about this anime. Check this out if you haven't Katakyo Hitman Reborn. If you have not seen this anime, what are you doing with your life, fam? Go watch it. That's what I noticed. A lot of these voice actors for these characters were primarily singers, which I mean makes sense like Disney, right? Are they just gonna freaking break into song? With every freaking chapter, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm just waiting for these figures to freaking just break out into musical, break out into song at any waking moment. And even though this game as described as a rhythm battle adventure game, the game will be focusing more on a visual novel-like structure. And the game is being handled by Annie Blix with the cooperation of Disney Japan. And despite there being no specific release date and the game is still in early development, many fans, Western and in Japan, and everywhere are freaking excited for this game, including myself. As soon as I found out, I had to freaking follow their Twitter. Which, as like a lot of the things I talk about, a lot of these animes and games have official websites and Twitters that you can follow to keep updated. The game's official website, as well as their Twitter, will be updating with the remaining dormitories and as well as the villains as they come closer and closer to completing the game. So if you want to be updated, I recommend following their Twitter and checking that shit out or just watch me fangirl about it on Instagram because that's probably what I'm going to be doing. But um yeah, let me know what you think of this game. I freaking just hope it comes out for America but there is a way. But there is a way to get Japanese games on your Apple device. But I have a few Japanese app games on my phone that when you look it up in the app store it isn't there but if you have the link you're able to get it and download it. So even if it doesn't officially come out for the US. I'm gonna get my hand on it one way or another, hear me? But let me know, who is your favorite character? I freaking love Malois, that beautiful hunger man. Before we go, we got some showstopper to announce. This week's showstopper is Orahime underscore Cypher 04. Thank you so much, Boo, for all your love and support. It means the world to me, thank you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this game. Are you gonna check it out? Are you gonna keep updated with this game? Make sure to like this video, let me know you enjoy it. Make sure to comment what you guys think of this game. Freaking subscribe, hashtag join the army army. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, I never do. But, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!